So we talked a little bit about PCA and uh, how we compute it. Uh, the details uh, are important, but um, uh, detailed, so uh, I recommend that you study the code itself. Uh, what I'm going to tell you here is much more of the practical side. Um, how do we actually uh, do this processing um, in, in uh, Spark? So the first thing to do is to load the data. And uh, this is the data that, that we're using. It's uh, data that uh, I got from the NOAA. And um, um, this is, these are the main files that have information in them, especially this one, um, that, that uh, describe what what's exactly is in the data. But, but roughly speaking, it's, uh, it's, temp it's for different stations um, across the world. It's the uh, temperature measurements, uh, precipitation measurements, and snow measurements, and things like that. So um, what you can see from analysis that I'm not showing here is that, that most measurements exist only uh, for a tiny set of um, stations and years. So there are a lot of possible uh, measurements, but for most of them, um, we have almost no data. So uh, it doesn't make sense to try to uh, analyze them in this uh, at least initial stage that we're just trying to get a global picture of the distribution. Um, so what we also do, we limit um, the we limit the the, the vectors that we take to ones that have at most 15 nans, right? Remember that we can deal with nans, but once you have more than 50, it kind of beats the purpose because uh, you have so many entries in the covariance matrix that will be nan that it might be just better to remove the whole uh, piece of data. Now, whether 50 is the best thing or not, uh, that really depends on experimentation and uh, might actually not be the best number. Um, so uh, we're also going to consider only measurements in the continental USA, and we partitioned uh, these measurements according to the states, um, the United States, uh, the continental United States um, states. OK. so. Um, the data that we're using is stored in a parquet file. Um, it's, um, we're looking here just at the parquet file for one state, so it's New York, and it's just uh, 28 megabytes, so it's not really that bad. So this is the amount of state that you can analyze on your own computer. And, um, and what we're doing here is that we're just reading the parquet uh, file into our data frame. And here is how our data frame looks. Um, you basically have the, the index of the station, then the type of measurement, this is precipitation, then the year, and then the, in this um, entry values, you have basically 365 two-byte reels that are stored as bytes uh, for compactness. and um, and those need to be unpacked in order to actually calculate anything. And then you have the state that is always New York. So um, here is the command that takes this data frame and computes uh, the statistics for all um, of these different uh, measurements. So Tmax, snow, uh, snow depth, and so on. And um, and here you also see how long it took. So you see that uh, on my laptop, that's a pretty strong laptop, it took um, 35 seconds to 40 seconds to, for each one of the eight measurements. So it took quite a long time, three minutes and 35 seconds. Um, it would go much faster on a bigger cluster, and definitely it would go much faster if you're trying to do it for the whole United States at once. 
So what do you get from the statistics? Let's say you look at T max, you get all of these different values. Um, the, the first one is how many undefs you have, the mean of all of the values, the standard deviation, um, the sorted values, um, uh, percentiles, and then you have the results of the PCA analysis, AGVAL, AGVEC, E, N, E, O, N, O, and you will need to look into the um, stat um, description uh, structure to see the details of what all these are. Um, so here are the different files that, that we generated, and the file that that we're generating in this notebook is this one, stat New York pickle GZ, and it basically has all of the statistics for uh, New York. So um, uh, this is what we get from the analysis. You see, this is um, a notebook that is basically just a computation notebook and not a uh, visualization of any kind. Um, but it generates the data that we need. And this is um, a typical uh, partition that in some notebooks or in some programs you spend, um, you run them for a long time to generate some uh, statistics. And then you have other notebooks in which you interactively study these statistics. And that's what we're going to do in the next video. See you then.